Some of the classic guitar body shapes that have really stood the test of time would be Fender Stratocaster, Telecaster, and then also like a, a Gibson Les Paul SG or 335. A lot of these have been replicated, duplicated, copied over and over again through the years by different manufacturers. I mean, I myself, I own... So I have a Bluesman Vintage Guitar Sedan, which is obviously, you know, a Stratocaster. This thing is a killer custom built guitar with a few modifications, but at the end of the day, it is a Stratocaster copy. If you want to know why I chose this particular company and model, color, everything, I actually did a video on this a few months back. You can check it out here. But today I want to pay tribute to some of the brands and companies that are brave enough to kind of carve their own path and do something really unique and different that hasn't been done before. So today's list is the top six odd shaped guitar bodies that I love. So the companies I'm gonna highlight in this list have either taken old designs and kind of flipped them on their head to make something new and fresh, or they've gone completely off the rails and started from scratch and made something that is totally unique. So diving in at number six, I have one of my favorite guitar builders in the world, Dennis Fano. Dennis is the mad scientist behind the super popular Novo Guitars, which are hand-built right here in Nashville. They also have an import line called Revolta Guitars, which falls under the same umbrella as Novo Guitars, just a different price point, but they're still original Dennis Fano design. Dennis has this really amazing way of making guitars that are, are fresh and new, but also instantly Timeless. So the original Novo body design itself is a unique take on like an offset guitar. So it definitely has like Fender origins in the way that it's constructed, but it is not a Fender guitar by any stretch of the imagination. And again, these are handmade right here in Nashville and are priced accordingly. Now if you still want that Dennis Fano magic, but need something at a different price point, I'd recommend looking at the Revolta lineup. In fact, my most recent gear acquisition was actually a Revolta. This is the Combinata, Combinita, Combinata, I think I'm saying that right, Combinata. And this thing absolutely rips. follower of Dennis Fano and his work, this particular body shape should look familiar to you. And even if you don't know who Dennis Fano is, this should still look familiar because everything he does, again, just looks timeless. I mean, this guitar in particular looks like you could have went to a department store in the 1950s and grabbed this right out of the window display. Like this, this has such a classic look to it. Now these are made in Korea at the Murr Music Factory, which there's a lot of premier builders that are using this particular factory. And there's a reason for that. Even though it's an import guitar, the fit and finish is absolutely top notch. This feels like a much more expensive guitar than it actually is. I can't recommend Novo and Revolta guitars enough. The, uh, the whole crew over there is amazing to work with. Matthew, uh, Dennis himself, and the whole squad over there is really great people. And uh, I love working with good people. So this is a killer guitar, go check them out. All right, so at number five, we have a company that's been doing original designs for so long, you could almost call them classic. So that is of course, Ernie Ball slash Music Man. But they have some really cool designs. They've been doing this a long time. They have a lot of history. So I haven't played too many of these, but the ones I have played made me realize a few things. The quality and the playability are consistently good. It's really hard to make a consistently good guitar. So from the few models I have been able to play, uh, it's actually reminded me of PRS in the way that 
any guitar from PRS that you pick up at any price point is going to be consistently good and easy to recommend. Ernie Ball and Music Man kind of fall into that same category. They're building consistently good guitars that play great. And again, that's really hard to do, so kudos to them. Also, just look at some of these designs. I mean, they're super innovative and unique. And uh, at first glance, you may not like it, but it really grows on you. I'm digging these. Look at that. That's super cool. Now it's just really bothering me that I don't actually own one of these. Dang it. Moving along to number four, I want to quickly talk about another builder here in Nashville, Brian Nutter of Nutter Guitars. So Brian Nutter is a maniac, and I mean that in the best way possible. The stuff that he's making is pretty wild. Brian's a longtime guitarist and has toured the world with some really amazing acts, including Keith Urban. I actually went to see Keith Urban with my wife in 2015 at Madison Square Garden in New York City, and Brian was the guitar player at the time. I didn't know who he was, but I do specifically remember thinking that uh, Keith's guitar player was awesome. Fast forward to now, he's off the road and he's making some amazing guitars. And you know, these designs and body shapes and stuff probably aren't for everyone, but I do think they are pretty darn cool. If you've been privileged enough to play one of these, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you think about it. Please go support him, give him a follow, and check these out. Pretty wild. Counting down to number three, I have two different builders here that I'm lumping together because they do something similar, but also very different. They're both building guitars where the origin is a Les Paul, basically. They've taken that and put their own spin on it, probably for legal reasons, but also just to make it their own. And what they've done is absolutely brilliant. The guitars I'm referring to are Frank Brothers and Bartlett Guitars. And honestly, for both of these companies, at first glance, I was kind of taken aback. I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. Let's take a look at some of these and you'll see exactly what I mean. So I should mention here that these guitars are not assembly line guitars. These are handcrafted using, you know, the finest materials, the finest woods, hardware, everything made by hand. So they're also priced accordingly. These are the most expensive guitars on the list, probably by far, but you get what you pay for. These are really, really amazing guitars. And more than an instrument, these are almost like a work of art. I can't wait to play one of these someday and to hopefully own one. And we can add that to the list of guitars that are really bothering me. Number two on the list is a brand you're probably all familiar with, D'Angelico Guitars. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like the last few years, D'Angelico has been working really hard to kind of reestablish themselves in the industry, and I think they've done a really good job with that. They keep on cranking out some really cool guitars with different unique designs, and they keep adding to their amazing roster of artists who actually play these guitars. So this brand has a deep and rich history, and I think the new designs they've been putting out are really doing that the brand justice, and they should really be proud of themselves, honestly. Let's just check out a rundown of some of the 2021 models and you'll see what I'm talking about. So if you look at these, I mean, these are really sweet and I'm really digging this Bedford SH. The only thing that has kind of always bothered me about the D'Angelico guitars is the headstock. And I know that may seem super shallow, but there's just something about the headstock that I've never really liked. But if the guitar plays and sounds killer, I can overlook that. Either way, these guitars are really cool. They have a wide variety of options and styles and models at different price points. So check these out if you haven't before. Great company, great guitars, and uh, I will definitely be adding one of these to my arsenal at some point. All right, number one on the list. This is not a company or brand. This is actually a very particular model that I used to hate until I actually played it. and kind of growing on me. This is literally one of the strangest designs I've ever seen, and it's the reason I originally hated it. The guitar I'm talking about is the Epiphone 1958 Limited Edition Carina Modern. This thing is pretty gross, but I mean, even the headstock, look at that thing. Again, I've kind of always hated this guitar until I actually borrowed this from my good friend Jason and uh, played it, and now I kind of like it. It's super light, 
and resonant. It's really loud, even acoustically. You know, I think a lot of that has to do with the Carina body. So I'm sorry, Epiphone 1958 limited edition Carina Modern. I'm sorry that I've always hated you. Because you're kind of cool, actually. So this guitar design actually has a pretty long history with Gibson first. And then in the early 2000s, um, they released a very limited run of these uh, through Epiphone. So this is one of 300 of that limited run. Uh, even though it's an Epiphone, uh, it is going up in value for that reason. I had full intentions of completely ragging on this in the video and making fun of it and bashing it. And here we are. I kind of like it. So I'm sorry, Epiphone. Sorry, Gibson. It's actually kind of cool in a weird, ugly way. I also wanted to leave you with some honorable mentions that didn't make the list but are still worth sharing. So first up, the Gretsch Billy Bow, which is a Billy Gibbons signature model and that just makes a whole lot of sense when you look at this thing. We also have Reverend Guitars, which are really cool guitars. They have some really unique models and designs and, and I've owned a bunch of these great guitars. Bomb Guitars, don't know a whole lot about these but I love what they're doing, I love the designs and I need to find out more about these, but very, very cool. Beluger guitars, I think I'm saying that. Belager, Beluger guitars. But something about these is just really fun. And on their website, they even have like a uh, build your own guitar feature, which is really cool to play with and, and sucked me in for way too long, honestly. But you can select your colors, configuration, pickups, every aspect of the guitar and customize it. And there's a price right there. Uh, really cool feature for the website uh, and honestly it's just fun to design guitars so check that out too. Let me know in the comments if there's any guitars or brands or anything that I may have missed that deserves to be on this list. I'd love to hear from you so put your comment below. If you like this video don't forget to hit subscribe and do all those things. It really helps the channel and uh, till next time. Now where's that Epiphone? There it is.